Hello, epic viewers. Brace yourself for unprecedented epicness, because today we're going to be finding excellent deals on Marvel Legends action figures on eBay. Without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination, let's allow the search to commence. I'm as blind as a bat, so I need to zoom in. My visual prowess is beginning to wane, it's beginning to atrophy. I can no longer see as well as I used to. I'm old, I'm decaying. My body is depreciating in perpetuity. So let's see what we have here. Now, when you're on eBay, you want to be able to search for Marvel Legends Loss to get the best deals on Marvel Legends action figures. You need to buy them in Loss as opposed to buying them individually. If there's an individual figure that you want, then you should consider buying it in the lot because you could find it for a much lower price when you divvy up the grand total of the lot by the amount of figures in the lot. So, if you have duplicate figures or your figures that you don't particularly care for, then you could always sell them on eBay or sell them via Craigslist or um, perhaps trade them in person. So you want to sort by lowest price plus shipping first. That should be obvious. That should be common sense. Now, if you want to get a good um, idea of the market price, if you want to get a good benchmark for comparison, you could always look at sold uh, items and just see what Marvel Legends Lost sold for in the past weeks. Unfortunately, sold listings are delisted after a month. So, let me just give you a little example here. These three Marvel Legends figures sold for a grand total of $12.50. So, when you do the mass, that's roughly um, $4 and um, 16.66 cents per figure. So, yeah, four dollars and sixteen cents, or four dollars and seventeen cents per figure. Not too bad per se. So, can you imagine? And then figures are retailed for over twenty dollars for under five dollars each. That's not a bad deal. Let's um, turn off sold listings and get back to peruse and current listings, because sold listings are not germane to us anymore. So, we want to um, look at the bids. You can bid on um, Cotton Mouse and Lady Thor. Cotton Mouse is an okay figure. I wouldn't pay more than $8 for him. The Lady Thor figure is vendor trench in my opinion. She has no merit. Um, the Hasbro figures are shoddy and um, they're lackluster and they're abysmal and utterly appalling relative to the Toy Biz figures. As you can see, we have a Toy Biz figure over here, which is this Iron Man. You could unequivocally tell the difference between this Machine Man and the Iron Man. The Iron Man figurine has ample points of articulation. Now, this Iron Man figurine is a part of Series 1. I remember getting it at GameStop. I believe I was 10 at that time. I also got Captain America and Hulk the same day, and I came back later to the same GameStop, and my uncle got me told. Now in the store, um, later on in the future, this was probably like three to six months later, I remember stumbling upon the um, Stealth Iron Man and the Golden Variant of Iron Man. It's too bad that I didn't buy those Iron Man figures when I had the chance. They were $8 plus tax. They came with a base, and um, they still came bundled with a comic book. And they had the clamshell package in. So you just got a real high quality, robust, state of the art, meticulously detailed, intricate figurine for under $10. It was quite a star deal. And fast forward to today, you get these shoddy, um, low quality, overpriced Hasbro figures that are devoid of um, a comic book and that have shoddy accessories and that have a build a figure piece for a scrawny, dainty small build a figure relative to the burly bulky colossal 12 to 14 inch build a figure that were part of um the toy biz of legends waves but i digress so you're paying 250 percent more for an inferior product it's not even up to par with the toy biz of legends figures in spite of this price tag being almost 300 percent higher it's quite a shame and quite a pity but it is what it is so i i apologize if i get enough topic um, I'm no longer going to divert away from um, the primary focus of this video. So we're trying to find deals here. Here we go, we have two figures. Now one of them is not a Marvel Legends figure. I believe that this is a Blackest Night Hawk Girl. She's missing her wings. 
her wings have been clipped. This angel figurine is devoid of a wing, and he doesn't have uh, a base or a sentinel piece or anything like that. I think he may have came with a sentinel piece. I think it was a part of Toy Biz Marvel Legends Series 10. I can't exactly recollect, but um, I think he came with a sentinel piece. But um, yeah, this is not the best deal. Now, these figures may be six stars each, but one of them is devoid of a wing, and the other one is missing both sets of um, wings, so it's quite an issue. Or I should say it's missing a set of wings, at least for the Hulk girl. So, you really don't want to get um, incomplete figures that don't even have um, all their body parts. Now we're scrolling down, we're still looking for Dio's. Um, we have the 3.75 inch figures derived from the Marvel Universe line, because they're shoddy. Hmm. I don't know why um, there isn't a decent deal. Okay, here we go. Now this would not be a bad deal in my opinion. We have a complete version of Whirlwind and Cotton Mouse. Now I have both of these figures. Now even though um, Hasbro figures don't tickle my fans or pique my interest. I had no other way of getting these figures, so I had to buy the Hasbro versions. And what I detest about the Hasbro versions is that they have this, um, plastic, um, I should say, let me just rephrase that, sorry. They have this big gaping hole in the back, they have this, um, aesthetically unappealing aperture, and it really stands out if you look at it, but if you look at them from the front, you will notice it because the front of their bodies obscure the, their backs. So I guess that issue could be um, averted if you just look at their fronts and pay no attention to their, their backs. But there should be plastic fillings inside their backs, but there's not. So those holes do vex me and irritate me and agitate me, but it's not the end of the world per se. Now, you're getting each figure for seven fifty each. I'm sure you could um, haggle with the uh, um, seller and get the price down. Maybe you could get them for closer to $7 each. But if you have to concede paying seven fifty per figure, it's not a bad deal. So that's a, that's a good deal in my opinion. Especially considering that other people paid closer to $45 for both figures because they retail for $20 plus tax and when you have sales tax that's close to 10% then you're, you're I mean you may be paying closer to $44 and we'll just round it up to 45 just to simplify it all right here we go this deal isn't too bad per se I'm sure that you could haggle the price down we have um, two figures um, with fisted hands the Captain Britain and you have the UK Spider-Man figure, and um, they're 1675 so that's roughly $8, and um, how many cents is each figure? 75 divided by 2 is c close to 40 so what is it like? Not, not 36 maybe closer to like 0.375. So yeah, I, I think I was saying is they're roughly eight dollars and thirty-seven or thirty-eight cents per figure. Not too bad per se. But yet again, you're getting these figures for under nine dollars. The Captain Britain figure is taller than the Toy Biz Captain Britain, and even though that Captain Britain is devoid of finger joint articulation, it um. It's still a more burly, bulky look relative to the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Captain Britain figure. So we're bypassing these um, listings. There's nothing here that tickles my fancy per se. But the, the other two lots that I went to and I browsed and I showed you and I zoomed in on, those are not bad deals. I mean, you're getting figures for under nine dollars or perhaps you could even haggle the price down to seven dollars everything is negotiable so bear that in mind and if someone's not willing to um compromise with you you know they're not willing to come to a fair agreement and move on to the next seller there's a lot of inventory i don't like these um dainty 
scrawny female figures. And why? I, I just detest the fact that they have um, open hands, and I dread the fact that um, they have trouble standing up. I, I prefer the male Marvel Legends figures over the female Marvel Legends figures because they're easier to balance. They have more plastic, they are more bulk, they're more muscular, and they're more likely to have fisted hands, unlike the female Marvel Legends figures. But the Toy Biz um, female Marvel Legends figures are much better than um, the Hasbro female Marvel Legends figures. But that goes as I was saying, I'm sure that that, that that's um, already known. I mean, I kind of insinuated that earlier when I was ranting and raving about how abysmal the Hasbro Marvel Legends figures are. Alright, so here's actually a better deal. You get um, Cotton Mouse, the Whirlwind. I think he's missing a blade, but I guess there's nothing in the world. And I just think you get the Mockingbird figure. I think that's her name. And you're paying less than seven dollars per figure. So yeah, it was right. That's Mockingbird. So the world one is incomplete, but I, I would do that. Um, I, I would buy an incomplete figure just for a, a much lower price tag. So that's not a bad deal. Again, you want to try to get these figures for under eight dollars when possible. Let's see here. We have some DC figures. Actually, we have a Wolverine. Now these figures appear to be de defective and somewhat dismantled. I'm going to have to go soon. I'm reaching my threshold for time. So we found good deals on a few Marvel Legends lost. The key was to find them for under $8, but if we have to pay over $9 per lot, it's not the end of the world per se. It's not that bad, especially when they retail for over $20. Let's see if we can find something real fast. I'm pressed for time. YouTube restricts me to um, a 15 minute time limit. I guess if I verify my account, I can remove the time limit. So, uh, I may have to do that soon. I just want to find one more deal and then I'll get the show out of here. Okay, this this doesn't seem to be too bad, actually. You know, actually I revoke my previous statement, there's defects. But it's not a minor one like the world one missing his blade. Or missing his little gear, whatever it's supposed to be. I think it's like a little gear. It kind of looks like a cog, I don't know what they call it, or maybe it's just a blade. I don't know the proper terminology for that. I think it's a blade. But maybe it's also considered a gear, or um... Or a cog, but at this point it's just semantics. I guess this deal wouldn't be too bad. I mean, I, I probably did a maximum of um, $35 for these figures. Again, I want to be able to get them for under $9 each, but the winning um, bid at the moment is um, close to $27. So that auction hasn't elapsed, but maybe the um, final bid, maybe the sold price will be... Um, under thirty dollars, who knows? Let's see what else we have here. When I got my um, massive Marvel Legends lot of almost two hundred uh, Marvel Legends figures, unfortunately, I paid close to twenty-two dollars per figure, so they, I did get ripped off. But um, I, I just wanted to get the collection over with. Um, and one swoop. Uh, unfortunately, I'm struggling to find, um, another amazing deal. I'll have to end the video. Th this lot isn't too bad, even though the figures are defective, you do get a multitude of them. And you could make some um, repairs. And we have um, multiple Marvel Legends figures. So I hope that you found this video to be 
Excellent, Ron. I wonder if Marvel's dead goodbye.